In this video, I'm gonna be creating a poster design in Photoshop completely from scratch. And I'll be walking you through every step so at the end of the video, you can create your own stunning poster designs. And as a little extra, I'll be showing you how to turn a poster like this into a streetwear t-shirt mock-up like this. So without further ado, let's dive into Photoshop. So I found this image here, which I think is gonna be perfect for what we're going for. So let's kick things off by dragging that into Photoshop and put that around there. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is fix up the colors a little bit. So I'm gonna add a vibrance adjustment layer to add a bit more color to the entire image. Next, I wanna add some pink tones to these flowers, but let's say I use a selective color adjustment layer, select the white areas, and then try adding in some magenta like this. Then it is gonna give me the color that I want, but it's also messing up the rest of the image. So I'm actually gonna share a technique here that if you're not already using, this is just gonna absolutely blow your mind. So we are gonna add this magenta tone to the image. Then we're gonna come over here and can you see this small white box on our adjustment layer? This is essentially a layer mask. And because this box is completely white, it means it's being applied to the entire project. So we can actually hold down Control or Command and press I to invert the layer mask. Now we can come down here and select the brush tool, set that to white, set the flow to about 15 and the hardness to zero. And now with this box still selected, we can actually paint the color correction onto the areas where we want the effect. And you can now see that this box is gonna show you whereabouts on the canvas that the effect is being applied. And you know what? I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky and use generative fill to make this a little bit longer as well. Okay, so next up, I wanna add a white border around the canvas. So the way that I create a border is I press Control or Command and A to select the entire project. Then we can just come up to Select, Modify and press Contract. And let's contract the selection by about 100 pixels. And now we actually want the opposite of this selection so let's press Control, Shift, and I to invert the selection. And this is where the magic happens. So we just come down here and add a solid color layer, and that's all there is to it. Oh, and I'm also gonna add a white rectangle like this to give us some space to add in the typography. But first, I'm gonna drag in a paper texture like this, put these two layers into a cozy little folder, and then I'm gonna clip the paper texture to this folder so that we're only adding the paper texture to the white border. And as always, if you do wanna download Download some paper textures like these. I'll leave a link in the description and you can go and download some for free. And next up, of course, it's time to add in some typography. So let's go for the word solitude. And I'm gonna use this font called Emotions Condensed. And let's put that around there. And I'm also gonna add in a displacement map to add in a little bit of texture to these edges. Oh yeah, that is looking lovely. And you know what? Let's add in a few pieces of text and some other small details as well. Okay, and I'm also gonna quickly sort out these layers because I mean, this is just, this is just diabolical. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. So next up, I wanna add a little bit of depth to the design. So I'm gonna come down here and add a layer mask to the white border. And then I'm gonna use the pen tool to make a selection of these areas here. And then let's just delete these areas on the layer mask so that her arm and the flowers move in front of the border like this. So I like how this is looking, but now I wanna spice things up a bit and add some animation. So let's open up After Effects. And I'm actually gonna import the different layers of the design into the composition like this. And I also just realized I've got Photoshop open and I've got After Effects open and I'm also recording the screen as well. So hopefully my laptop can handle it. So I think I'm gonna use this video of these clouds and let's import that into After Effects and move that below these layers. Come over here and change the blending mode. And here is the final animated poster design. But as promised, let's now take a look at how to use a design like this to create a t-shirt mock-up like this. So in this Photoshop project, you can see I've moved everything around a little bit so that it works better as a clothing design. And I also found this t-shirt mock-up online, but to be honest, you can use any clothing mock-up for this. In fact, here are a few sites that you can use if you do want to go and download some free mock-ups like this one. So inside a Photoshop mock-up project, you're always going to see a layer like this one that says something like your image here. So what we need to do is we just need to click into this smart object and drag our design into the Photoshop project. Now we just press Control or Command S to save the file, come back up to our original project, and there we have it. Our design is instantly applied to the t-shirt, and we can even move this layer around if we do you want to change up the position of the design. And that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like it or subscribe, whatever you want to do. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.